If you believe this is a very simple family to model and there is nothing special about it, I challenge you to pause the video and test it yourself. I'm serious, not only will this improve your problem solving skills, which are essential for what we do, but who knows, you might discover an even better and more efficient method than mine. If you do, please just share it in here, I would be so curious to know. So without further ado, let's see how we can do it my way. This lighting fixture is a nested family and as I said you might find different ways to model it. So if we go to file, new families, in here you can select between lighting fixture ceiling based or this generic model ceiling based. It depends on you, your techniques and methods. I've tested this a few times with this one this one and also generic model ceiling based and I think the way I'm going to explain it to you now is the best way that we can model it. So I'm going to start the generic model ceiling based, open it and then set your unit. Press UN and change the unit in here to metric system and rounding to two decimal places. In here we are going to model the top part, the black box that is attached to the ceiling. So I'm going to start with creating some reference lines in here, the other side, and two more in this part. Use dimension and place them exactly in the center. Make them equal and another dimension for the size. Do the same for the other side, make them equal and another one for controlling the size of it. If you want, you can turn these two dimensions into permits, but I just want to have a fixed sizes in here. So I'm going to just make this part 50 centimeter and the other side, let's say 8 centimeter. Okay. So if you want, you can also lock these parts, but I'm not going to do that because we might need to change it. So let's go to front view and we are going to create another reference plane in this part. Create a dimension from this reference plane to the main reference plane, not to the ceiling. And I want to have like four or five centimeter in this part. And I'm going to just simply lock it because in this part we are going to control the height of the lighting. We can create it parametrically so we can control the height. So I need this part to be fixed. Okay, let's go back to ref level and in this part I'm going to go to create and create an extrusion with this rectangle on all of these four reference planes and lock all of them it finished and let's go to the front view i'm going to move it to this part so i can align and lock them with these reference planes with this align i'm going to align the top part to this line it is locked automatically and i think this is the new feature that we have in this update which i think is really good i'm going to repeat it for the other part and again it is just locked automatically this is for here let's go back to ref level and in this part i'm going to create two other reference planes in this part and also in here with these dimensions i'm going to keep them exactly in the center click on this eq and if you want to control the size i'm going to create it for one side so i can see it better Let's change the scale, okay, move this part up and also these two. You can move these parts around and if you just change one side, the other side will follow that. These two reference planes are for tubing and we are going to use extrusion for that too. So let's go to create with this extrusion. I'm going to create two circles in these two parts select them both and check this center mark visible so we can see these center marks next we need to align both of these circles with this reference plane and also this one i'm going to click on the reference plane and to the center it is locked repeat it for the other side and also for this one 
with the other reference plane now we can change the size of its radius let's put it on five millimeter you can go with one centimeter or even less than this two millimeter it depends on you i think five millimeter is good and i'm going to use the same for the other part too now i'm going to hit finish and let's go to the front view let's move it to here and now we are going to create the part that we can control the height of the lighting for that i'm going to create another reference plane in this part and then i'm going to create a dimension from this part to here exactly you can create a dimension exactly from the ceiling to this part where it is attached to the main part of the lighting or you can create it from this part because this box is fixed and we don't need to calculate that as a parameter i'm going to create it exactly from this line from this difference plane to here so let's select the dimension and turn it into a parameter i'm going to call it height and let's make it an instance okay and now we can align these two parts to the both side of this parameter if we go to this family type in here we can see this dimension and we can change it in here let me just apply to see how it works okay it is working correctly 40 okay for the next part for the main part of our lighting we need to create another family i'm going to close these extra tabs also this project and now we can go to file create a new family in generic model this part should be done in the front view so we need to go to this part so i'm going to create it in this part and then we are going to move it to here and for that i'm going to go to extrusion first we are going to place everything between the reference planes but since i want to have the dimensions i want i'm going to create the model first and then attach it to the reference planes and then place it exactly where i want so i'm going to start with this line from this point i'm going to create 35 centimeter 7 centimeter up to the left 20 to 25 centimeter let's go with 23 and then i think we can go down 20 to 18 centimeter let's go to 18 centimeter and then again to the left 20 or 25 centimeter this time 20 centimeter to up we can go something between 25 to 30 centimeter i'm going to go with 28 and then again to the left let's go with 30 down i'm going to go with 15 centimeter i'm going to like align these two lines together and the last part will be 40 centimeter and that's all so i really want to align these two parts together this is 15 centimeter and from this part to here we have 17 i'm going to put both of them on 16 centimeter so this is what i want to have as the main shape of my lighting fixture i'm going to create the rest of it and then create reference planes around it with this big line i'm going to create one centimeter offset for all of these parts i'm going to create it under all of these lines this is the frame and the frame has two parts and this is the main part where we are going to connect it to the tubing section so i'm going to create it like this close it with two other lines like this and in here and then we are going to trim these two parts together and okay we can hit finish and before we go to the next part i want to set the width of this lighting i'm going to set it on something between 
3 to 4 cm and I'm going to divide it between two parts so I have it always in the center so I'm going to go with 15 cm for the end and minus 15 cm for the other side let's go to the 3d view and this is what we have let's go to front view and add references you don't really need to add it because this is going to be the fixed part you're not going to create permits or anything to change this part but just to be sure i'm going to add reference planes and lock everything in its place so for that i'm going to create reference planes in this part in here here and for all of these parts and also for the other side now i'm going to align these edges with these reference planes Since I'm first selecting the edge and then attaching it to the reference plane, the offset is going to be fixed for all of these parts. Next thing I'm going to do is to create dimensions for all of these parts and then lock each one of them on these numbers. And since the reference planes are locked with these edges, they can't be changed they can't be like you can't move them repeat it for the other side and then lock them there too so as i said this is the main frame and we also need to add some edges to here to place the lighting things inside or under it and for that we are going to go to 3d view and we will use this sweep so we usually when we use sweep we have like two things we have the path and the profile this time we are going to use this peak line and then i'm going to select all of these edges that we have in here and we are going to then add the profile i'm going to just simply select all of them in these parts Let me just turn this off so we can see them. You can use another way too. You can use extrusion and then create one for this side, another one for the other side, and then close these two parts. But I think this is a much better way. Select all of the edges under the main part okay and now we can hit finish then we are going to add the profile you can either create it on another family and then bring it to here and use it or you can just simply create it in this part i'm going to click on this edit profile and then we are going to create a very simple rectangle in this part from this point to here let me align the top part with this face and the other side with here. Okay, the size, I think we can go with 2 or 3 millimeter. And the height, we can go with 1 centimeter. I think we can go with 1 centimeter. And then you just need to hit finish. Now we have the path, we have the profile, and we just need to hit finish again. So we have this beautiful and simple frame around the main part. If you don't want to see this extra line, you can just simply join these two parts together. And now the lighting fixture is somehow complete. Before we go to the next part, since this is the main frame, I'm going to select both of them. And from this part, I'm going to create a parameter for their material. Click on here and then create a new parameter. Let's just call it frame. 
and OK. Now for this center, for this part, we're going to use the same method. Go to create, create a sweep with this big line. I'm going to click on this part first, then here, this part, here, here, and all around this line. Let me rotate again and select this one and this edge hit finish and let's go to edit profile if we go to left view we can see it much better now we know that this part should cover the center should cover everything that we have inside this lighting fixture and you can either create your rectangle from this point to here exactly or you can just create a very thin line to cover what you have in here i'm going to put it on wireframe so i can see all of the lines and i'm going to go with the second way because i want to have a thin line in this part i'm going to align it with these lines okay and for its thickness let's go with 15 millimeter i think it's good Hit finish and let's go to another view and to this hidden line and hit finish again. So this is what we have, nice and clean. For its material, I'm going to select it and assign another material. Let's go with lighting source. Okay, and okay. So this is the main form of our lighting. And as I said, we are going to use lighting material for the center part for here. And also if you want, you can add lighting fixture too. So you can either add it to the main part to here, or you can add it to here and then load all of these things together to the main ceiling based generic model. So you can go with either way that you like. I'm going to attach all of those lightings that I want to have to this fixed part. And then I'm going to load all of them to the main generic model ceiling base. Because I think this way you don't need to deal with the movement and the placement of what you have created. Since this is the fixed part, I'm going to add everything I want in here and then load it into the main family. So let's go to front view and first let's place it exactly in the center. For that, since we don't have any center in here, I'm going to create another reference plane in this part and I'm going to place it exactly in the center between these two parts. If I make it equal, it will always be in the center of this number. Now select everything except this reference plane. We're going to use this line as the center of this form. So we don't need to have any duplicated reference plane in here. I'm going to move it exactly from this point to here. Elements will be deleted. I think this might be just a warning. So let's click on OK. And since everything is in its place, I think we are good to go. Delete this reference plane and let's go to ref level. In here, you can see the form again in the center. Let's go back to front view and I'm going to select all of these reference planes and turn them into a strong reference plane. You might need to use all of them later. So I'm going to select all of them now. And from the properties section, in this part, I'm going to turn all of them into strong references. Next part is to add lighting fixture. For that, we are going to go to file, create a new family in the lighting fixture, this one. Open it and in here, we are going to just simply change this light source. I'm going to select it and from this light source definition, we are going to go with rectangle for its shape. And for its light distribution, we are going to select this hemispherical. Apply and OK. We are not going to change anything about the size or the shape of it. 
but if you go to properties in here you can see some options in this part i'm going to check this work plane base and also uncheck this always vertical now we can load it into the project to this one and okay in here we can place it on face which is not correct so let's go to a 3d view in this part i'm going to place it exactly in this part since we haven't set any work plane i'm going to use this place on face and i'm going to place it in this part let's go to front view to see exactly where it is and before changing anything i also want to change the background because it's really hard to see this yellow color in here go to color section and for the background i'm going to use this dark color and okay this is much better select the lighting and with this icon you can fill up its work plane so it is this way i'm going to move it down and let's for a few seconds keep it in this part let's go to its edit type and in here we need to change a few things so for its light source symbol size we are going to put it on five millimeter millimeter and this is the size of this part so it is going to be a smaller and then if you scroll down you can see the length and the width i'm going to change the length to 35 centimeter based on what we have in here but we need to change it again and for its width let's for now keep it on three centimeter this is going to be fixed for all other lightings that we're going to add but we need to check it first so now it is in this part if we just simply move it to here and align it with this line you can see that it can be locked to the main part and we don't need to change it again for the length i'm going to use this dimension from exactly this part to here it is on 37 centimeter so we can select it again go to edit type and set this part on 37 and okay now i'm going to move it from this part to here let's also check other side i think this is too much 37 is a little too much so let's go with 36 we are going to set all of these things once for all of these parts and we are not going to change it again so you can try to be as accurate as possible but let's go to left view to set it with 2 in here i'm going to select it and let's put it on maybe 223 okay let's move it to here i think it's okay right now so we are going to set all of the widths on 23 millimeter and for its length we are going to set them based on the size of these parts let's continue with the next part this side i'm going to select the lighting and first let's change its name to number one and okay now we can select it copy it to here and then simply duplicate it let's go v2 and for its length i think we should change it to maybe 10 centimeter and okay let's go to 3d view and in here i'm going to select it and change this pick new and place it in this part let's go to front view again and see where it is exactly in this part i'm going to move it closer now if we move it closer to this part we should see some snap or lock icon which we can't sometimes this might happen and i think since we are working on a fixed part of our family you're going to be okay 
So I'm going to just move it closer to here as much as I can. Let's go to edit type and to the length section, I'm going to put it on 50 centimeter and it is not changing. So let's go to 3D view and in here I see why it is not changing. If you press space on your keyboard, you can rotate it like this. Let's go back to front view and we should go with something smaller maybe 5 centimeter apply and ok move it down to here 6 centimeter and ok I think this is much better so for all of these parts, you need to repeat it. You need to set all of the sizes, the lengths, and the orientation. As you saw how I did it, you sometimes need to be creative and rotate them around. You need to like place them from different views until you place them exactly where they need to be. I have added all of the lightings around these parts and now if we go to 3D view, you can see them like this. They are all attached to the forms behind them. If you have created them correctly, you can uh, align and and lock them to the sweep that we worked on before so now that this part is complete we can load it into the first family that we created let's load it to family number one and okay we cannot place it from this view so let's go to another view maybe this 3d view and place it in this part for now Let's go to front view again and move it to exactly here. Also, we need to set it exactly in the center from the other side. So we can either go to left view or right view. And in here, I'm going to select it and move it exactly from its center to this part. Okay, move it down a little bit and from the front view, I'm going to align this part with this strong reference plane that we created before and they are locked. Now before anything else, let's just check this parameter. This is the most important part I want to work. Let's put it on 30 centimeter, apply and you see that this part, this fixed part is moving according to this parameter. So everything we created is correct and now we can continue with the rest of the family. The family is somehow complete. We just need to add a few more details. For example, I want it to be in the center from the front view too. So I need to move it to this part. I'm going to select it and with this move and from this midpoint, I'm going to move it to here exactly. Okay. Also, we need to attach this part to here. So this is the very tricky part because you can't continue this extrusion to this part or you can't attach like another thing to this side. So you should not create any reference plane or anything else to create the rest of this tubing to connect it to this part. The thing we should do is to create a reference plane and attach it to this reference plane. Okay, we are going to create a fixed reference plane, a fixed dimension, and then we need to create another one of these in here and then connect all of them together. Go to create and create a reference plane in this part. To be sure, let's just change its name to B. Okay. Now we are going to measure this part. I'm going to use this aligned dimension exactly from this reference plane to this edge. It is on 10 centimeter. We don't need that dimension. We just need to, to check the size. So since the dimension from this part to here is going to be fixed, we can lock this second reference plane on the same size. So I'm going to select it and from this part, we can set it on 10 centimeter. Then with another dimension, 
I'm going to lock these two reference planes together. Okay. And I'm going to select the dimension and lock this part too. Before we continue, let's check the height. Again, I'm going to put it on 40 centimeter and apply. You see that all of them are working together perfectly and this part is fixed. Now to fill this part to continue this tubing to here, I'm going to select it again and copy it on the same place. We are going to go to edit extrusion in ref level and in this part I'm going to delete one of them and then hit finish. Let's go back to front view in this part and then I'm going to select it and move it down to here okay and then i'm going to just simply align it between this reference plane make sure you are selecting reference plane correctly and this one with this edge and it is locked let's this time check it in 3d view go to family type set the height on for example 20 centimeter apply and perfect I also want to delete this line, this extra line, we don't need to see it, so we can just simply join them together like this. I also want to check it inside the project, so I'm going to go to File, Options, and first change this color to this white background, okay, and now we can load it into the project. In here I have created this very simple ceiling and as you can see we can just place it on the ceiling since it is a ceiling based family if we select it in the property section we can see this height and we can change it to 40 centimeter to 15 centimeter or to any number we want it is working perfectly and each step that we worked on is correct you can download this family and other families that we have worked on this channel with the link in description. I really hope this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching it. If you want to learn more about family creation, especially lighting families, you can watch these videos too.